Good morning. I'm back at it again. I'm going to be creating another look. I'm just going to prime my eyes with Gerard Clean Canvas Eye Base in Fair and decide which palette I'm going to use. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm still going to try to do something fun, but I don't have a ton of time because it's before work. So I chose the Hauntingly Glamorous um, in collaboration with the beautiful Sydney Nicole Adams. That's Unearthly Cosmetics as well as my newest Unearthly Edition, which is Leather and Lace. And I think I'm going to use possibly this beauty today. This one. We used this one in my last tutorial, so and possibly other things too. But um, I have a little bit of an idea, we'll see if it stays the same throughout the whole video. So, first, I am gonna take that shade Whiskey, the lightest orange shade, and start in the front of my crease again. And this is a JS6, Morphe JS6. We'll do it a goodie. I love this brush. just building up little by little just because I want a really seamless blend again I don't want to have any harsh lines any weird places where it stops so just blending on the edge trying to blur it a little bit and I'm happy with that for now Hmm, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I am going to take one of these ABH brushes. Hopefully, a clean one. This one is, like I said, the double ended brushes that I love from all the ABH, um, original ABH palettes, not the Norbinas. I'm going to take one of these. Blues. I think I'm going to go in with Seance Weather from the Sydney Nicole palette for my outer crease color and just kind of start packing that in my outer V and figure out my shape which is probably going to be the same either rounded thing I always do or slightly kind of winged out little number and just dragging that down small blending motions and packing at the same time to maintain the intensity in the outer well, I guess the outer and innermost part here. I like to kind of pack as I go and then blend out the edges and move the pigment where I need it or want it, whatever you want to say.
shade. I'm happy-ish with that shape. I think I want to use blood curdling, which is the teal. Maybe on Puzzle Dreams, but I'm thinking maybe just to blend out, um, which this is that periwinkle, to blend out the outer edge of that. So. Yeah, we're going to use blood curdling the teal just to try to add one more color in there because there's never enough just right there and then without really blending it too much into the orange because I don't want it to get muddy I'm going to focus on just trying to seamlessly blend the two blues which is simple but sometimes easier said than done when things are contrasting colors um, so like with that orange, it might be, I'm just slightly, slightly, I'm barely even trying to touch the orange. I'm just trying to give myself a fade and the illusion that they blend into each other. Because again, they're not um, colors that blend the best together. So just picked up a little more of that blood curdling. And my mirror up so I can really see what I'm doing and see where it's starting to get a little muddy but that's exactly kind of what I wanted just so I have that little bit of a blend I'm going to stop there because I don't want it to mud up then I'm going to take other side of this ABH brush or you know what let me grab a definitely clean brush I'm gonna take something like this this is a BH brush possibly or just like a no-name brush from somewhere and I'm gonna take that unpleasant dreams which is the periwinkle and I'm just literally just barely even touching the edge I just want to make sure that's blended and just up the blue because the orange is pretty much just a wash of color so it's not really you I really need to blend too hard focus on messing with too much okay so I'm happy with that that's fine okay I'm gonna catch this eye up I'll be right back this eye is caught up. This is one that is I'm gonna get right now. I'm gonna go in with my handy dandy P. Louise 7072 brush, flat brush, with my glitter glue again. And because I am trying to save time, I'm not gonna bother with my slow water again today. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd like to, and I'd like to do like a fancy shape cut crease, a full cut crease, but. Um, I'm gonna see what happens. <laughs> I'm gonna see where the brush takes me because I really don't have much of an idea other than that I want to go in with that um, What is it? Allura Zorro shimmer from the House of the Hill palette because it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just so you can see the more detailed part of this. I said I like to tap it and drag it. Drag it, tap it. A little bit of both. A little bit of a balance um, that you have to find with that motion. With the glitter glue. Um, if you want a really even application. I hate texture. You know, I'm 30, so I do have it. And when I put a shimmer on, it tends to get that weird flaky consistency texture whatever you want to call it so I try to eliminate that best I can by 
being easy with my application of this glitter glue or a shimmer. I mean, technically you could just use a brush, pick up the shimmer you want, and then spray it with any makeup mist, setting mist, setting spray, water. Really, I mean, there's so many different ways to apply stuff, but I find this gives me the longevity. So, that's why I use it. And I really just started using it not too long ago because I was really trying to figure out how to get the best application for some of my more flakier shadows because like Terra Moons, for example, their shadows are so gorgeous. Adept to, um, you know, any, any indie brand that has like those squishy or flaky shadows that you really want to be able to show the shifts and, you know, have a nice smooth application of. I find that sometimes even if I spray the brush or try to go in lightly first. Like I've tried a lot of different techniques to getting that shimmer to the finish that I want it. And it seems like this glitter glue, tapping it on and smoothing out the whole surface that you put it on, along with a toothy brush for the shimmer instead of a flat one. I'm about to do is the best way to do it um, so far what I'm what I found so I'm gonna use this is the 10 JS 10 I believe yep JS 10 I'm just using my color switch to make sure there's no or very minimal shadow from yesterday In with that beautiful Allura Zorel, the red, reddish yellow um, shade. I'm gonna put that on the lid, at least some of it. So I'm trying to load up the brush a decent amount. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did in my first video and then in any other application of this palette and other shimmers um, by tapping it and kind of tapping and smoothing as I go. Same way I just did with the glitter glue essentially. Just to get the smoothest application that I can. Every time I'm looking away, I'm just dipping more into the palette to build up to the finish and intensity that I want. Like, do we see that shimmer? Yeah, this is kind of an unconventional color combo, but I'm all about those, so all right, I'm going to go catch this eye up, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're caught up, and I am going to take my table off. Ow, 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 ow. Does that hurt today for some reason? It never usually does. Um, grab a makeup wipe and fix that, because that's really the only flaw that I had. and finish up the eyes and then hop out through my face put on liner and lashes and come back for the finished product
So I'm trying not to remove too much of my eye base under here because I don't feel like putting it back on. I'm just going to cover this. Oh my, my allergies have been so bad the last couple of days. It's like out of nowhere they just got worse than they normally are. Alright, so I'm going to take this small flat brush. Or like pencil flat brush. I don't know what you really want to call this, but um, I'm going to take aubergine, which is the darkest purple, or the most cool tone purple, out of the leather and lace palette. And I'm going to pat that on under here. And kind of try to blend it up in here so it doesn't look like a harsh line. Get up a little more. <sighs> Just blowing away <sighs> a stray sparkle because it was like hanging on. So, this is a quick one, so I'm just going to do the other eye too. trying to use at least one more color so I can move this away from like Superman colors. I was thinking more Tide Pod on steroids. You know. It's more my look. Well, really what it is is the Frosted Flakes collection by Glamly. I really like that orange and blue color story. But there's also no way to not make it look like a Tide Pod so it's like kind of, you know. I just said oh well. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it confidently, you know. Because that's really the only way to wear makeup like this anyways. You know, a lot more loud color, less wearable as people would say. You know, in my opinion, I, I think the easiest way to do anything that's out of the norm is to do it confidently. That is my best advice on that. And that's what I tell people. And they ask me, oh, green lipstick, really? Yeah, because, you know, I know it looks okay on me, you know. Um, and it would probably look beautiful on you, too, if you just didn't think of it as, oh, my God, I'm wearing green lipstick. You know, like, how about I'm trying a different color lipstick. It's like changing your mindset about things is sometimes the corniest sentiment but it really does actually help and it works because I know because I was an addict for half of my life on hard drugs and I thought I was going to be only that for the rest of my life I didn't have any hope and not to get too deep into it but like I really had to look into changing the way I viewed my future, my past, just my perception in general. I had to change. Alright, so that's that. Um, it's probably going to end up being a little thinner when I put my concealer and everything, my base products on. But for now, I'm going to hop off camera and do my liner and lashes, and I will be right back. And actually, I'm probably going to fix this too, just because I need to add a little more shadow and kind of smudge it together. So, but that's very simple. Hello again. This is the finished look. Of course, styled very extravagantly. But basically, I was bored and I wanted to do something a little different when I got home. Instead of just, you know, touching my face up. So, Look at the shimmer. Isn't it so pretty? All oh, that shift is just everything. So, yeah, this was pretty much where I left off. Yes. So, anyway, just to recap, pretty much where I left off, I had not done the lower lash line yet or added lashes, liner, a lippy, face stuff. So, I went off camera and did my face using 
the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum mixed with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I don't know where it is. Oh, right here. The Power Grip Primer. It looks like that. Then I used these two for my foundation. The Bear With Me Serum Concealer in shade Light. Yes, Light. And then, oh, what a coincidence. The Hydromaniac Tinted Moisturizer. Um base product that I used is also in light that's 30 light and that's 24 hour hydration and I honestly this was not my favorite when I lived in Massachusetts and for some reason it just works so much better down here I don't know if it's just the climate difference um you know but standing up to 93 degree weather today and not moving not budging not separating I mean what more can I ask for? So that's wonderful. Um, what else am I forgetting? Oh, the no filter powder. And I used the Ethereal highlighter again from Unearthly. I used the um, Essence Lash Princess Mascara, the waterproof version. Liquid Liner by ABH um, to blend my brows into the temporary tattoo since I, you know, only have this much brow. I used the Lift and Snatch in black, and that's also by NYX, and then the ABH Granite Brow Powder Duo. Um, hmm, I used. The faux white NYX white smoke, yes, white smoke pencil. It's in my waterline. I also put and then Elvira, which is one of the two shimmers in the palette. I used that for the inner corner, and I topped it with Carazor L from the um, Adev palette, which is that pinky gold. So I basically just did a base of Elvira and added a tiddly little bit of gold um, in the very most inner part and then added some blue gems on the bottom and then some clear gems and then I have Alien by NYX the black lip liner and I have on two of the Revlon Colorstay satin ink liquid lipsticks um, just kind of mixed them and it was an ombre but it's been my lips for a little while so it kind of just all merged together um this one is i think seal the deal yes this is seal the deal the more like orangey pink and then the more purpley pink is own it so i couldn't decide so i just added them both so my plugs um the plug itself with the brass knuckles not the hoop is from love kills boutique one of my favorite, favorite place to get plugs and earrings. My contacts are from Colorful Eye. Also a great company to get contacts from. They run a lot of sales and they're very, very comfortable. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put you on if you don't already know about Lily Posh. Lily Posh is highlighters. To space on crack the most beautiful products not just highlighters either. she has beautiful beautiful products period handmade 90% of it's handmade by Nina the owner who is an amazing person and friend um, this is basically my holy grail highlighter palette um, okay so yeah so this is the Ellie star palette the highlighter palette in collaboration with Lily Posh Cosmetics it came out last year I use it pretty much every day I ride hard for my Lily fam um, Nina like I said the owner is such a nice person she's such a beautiful person um, inside and out and literally my palette's a mess because like I said I use it every day so don't judge um, but I took mushy which is like a pinky blue and Pisces, which is like a straight up like purpley blue. Um, I wish you could see the shifts because it's so pretty. I'll just swatch Pisces real quick on my hand. Like, can we see 
Like, now you see it, now you don't. Now you see it, now you don't. Ugh, it makes me want to put more on because it's so pretty. Um, that's Pisces. And then Mushy is one of my most used shades. It's falling apart, though, because um, it broke in transit. And Nina sent me a replacement, which I've already almost used that one, too, because I have one in this palette and one in a different palette with my um, Lily Singles. That one is mushy, like, beautiful. So just plug in for my Lily fam. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get a close-up of my eyeballs. Oh, and I added some gems, too, just because I was feeling froggy. And you can really see the highlight there, the shift of the highlight. My idea was like Superman, since the House of L palette um, is based on Superman's family. But yeah, my idea was like Superman ate a Tide Pod, I guess, kind of. That was my color story for today. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You can check out my Instagram, vanity underscore case underscore makeup to see much more of my daily life, um, things about my recovery, and much, much more about indie makeup content on there. And yeah, that's all she wrote. So... Have a good night. Toodaloo. Find me on Instagram at Vanity Case Makeup.